Hello everyone, um, welcome to Cube Simplify. My name is Sayyab Bhattak and today we'll be diving into something really cool, something really futuristic kind of thing. So AI is changing every day and uh, we, have, we are seeing, you know, in the world of AI, new stuff coming in every now and then. But today morning I stumbled upon something very, very interesting and it looked futuristic to me at least uh, from Odyssey. So they just launched the research preview of something which is which sounds pretty interesting so this is basically real-time interactive video powered by ai now what is happening here is like you are watching a video but you are in the video like you are influencing the next outcome that is happening like you are the story like you are creating the story so this is actually, uh, you know, we have seen this in movies and, you know, all the things, but this will be a really new futuristic way of storytelling and gaming and different fields. So yes, Odyssey research team has just unveiled uh, what the next thing for entertainment gaming industry will kind of uh, be. So what exactly is kind of this interactive AI? Let me just show you that. So Odyssey, uh, the AI lab, has launched a research preview, which is this interactive uh, AI. Basically, choose your own. This isn't just choose your own kind of adventure or a game, which is there. It is actually video generated in real time by AI reacting to the input. So now I just press W. And it is doing this in real time. And it's generating the scenes in real time. It's pretty cool. Like, if we talk about uh, the, like, I read the more information on their page, and if you talk about the, um, so they say that the traditional video models, which are there, are worked on uh, gen by generating the fixed set of frame. And uh, they are for good for creating short clips and stuff. But this is something which they have termed it as world model. Now, I have heard it for the first time, so I don't know if you already know about world model. And world model is something that predicts what happens next based on the current state and the actions that I actually am doing. There are different channels over here as well. If I go to a different channel. Every time I press it in real time, it is actually, you know, uh, doing 30 FPS. It's fully interactive as you can see. And uh, it's, it's actually very fast. Uh, it is behind the scenes uh, relying on the NVIDIA's uh, H100s as they have mentioned and uh, latency is as low as 40 milliseconds. So they use something which is called autoregressive modeling. In simple terms, what that means is that the output of the model at each moment becomes the input for the next prediction. Now this works fine in text generation but when it comes to the video kind of thing in the visual world, uh, the the state is pretty, you know, dynamic. Like you have pixels, you have objects, you have motion, you have physics. There's a lot of physics and uh, what can come, the track. So a lot of things is is there. So, but Odyssey is uh, tackling this by narrowing the training set, using the smaller data sets to improve the stability. The next stuff that they are building is to generalize uh, with more realistic, obviously more kind of interactive experience because right now it's like we are going into the world and everything is getting generated. You can see how it is working. I mean, why I I am creating this video. So this came out yesterday uh, in the blog that they have mentioned. It came on my post, uh, my Twitter feed today. And I was really fascinated because I think this this is really interesting because you now can actually be part of the story and what the next course of action would look like. So whether you have, you know, whether it's about building games or 3D models, animations, I mean, it's really, really cool. You should uh, go through their blog as well, uh, you know, where they have mentioned uh, all these things, how it works and the tech behind that. And early on, they have started with the with learnings of you know you, you might get reminded of uh, Minecraft, uh, but there the motion is pretty basic. The pixels are constrained, the actions are limited. So physics, so more physics, more pixels, 
uh, diversity. So this will be, you know, very interesting to see where where this thing is going. Like the search preview is interesting. They have also mentioned, and you can see, right? It's not a hundred percent perfect, but it's something pretty new. I'm not. I am in a video. I mean. That was very new for me. Like I'm in a video and the next set is actually being generated by AI. Is it that fascinating to you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, also I'll be keeping an eye on what Odyssey is doing next. So that was it about this particular video. I just wanted to share uh, what I saw today. I'll be doing that more often uh to keep you up to date with what i'm studying reading and what i'm fascinated by thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next one